Hey everyone, Jeff here from the RabbitKid.com. Uh, last week I posted a video where I showed how to place 3D room tags using um, Dynamo. So creating the room tags in Revit and placing them using Dynamo. And uh, I had a couple comments and emails about how to do that using phases. Um, so for those of you that don't know, um, room tags are elements that um, only have essentially a phase created parameter. They don't have a phase demolished. So if you're working on an existing project or maybe an addition that has existing room names, new room names, and uh, a demo in between, uh, you've probably run into issues where uh, room names only exist in those phases. So you, if you're on a demo plan, it's very difficult to show room names uh, for the new or the existing and so on. Um, so it was actually kind of a, a nice little uh, natural place to extend this, this sort of Dynamo um, tutorial series and um, talk a little bit about how you would filter out the rooms based on their phases. Um, and I just wanted to mention, by the way, um, this information, I actually have a free, where is it here, free uh, downloadable printable Dynamo um, cheat sheet, which actually has um, some of my favorite nodes, uh, some of my personal notes about those nodes, as well as some of the custom packages I use. And what we're talking about today, which is actually gonna be filtering a list which is filtering uh, by Boolean mask is actually the name of the dynamo, dynamo node. Um, but that's actually, I have a little description of it on this cheat sheet. So that'll be linked below. Um, and I hope you guys check that out. If you didn't see last week's video, it's linked below. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you subscribe to my channel as well as give me a thumbs up. Um, so without further ado, let's jump in and I'll start explaining how to filter out um, rooms um, using Dynamo. All right, so here's actually the final script. What you'll notice is it's the same from the video last week, except there's a little additional piece, and that's these nodes right here. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. Um, so before I jump into the how-to, I just wanna show you what, what this does. So what I have here is an example project, and it's a really simple one. Um, I have an existing setup. So we have these four rooms and this one room um, in our existing building. And then our new building, we demolish this wall, and we just have one room and one room. So we have three rooms now. Um, so now if I go to my 3D view, you could see I have this set to uh, new construction so show all for my phase filtering. And if I run this script, right now you can see it's set to new construction. So let me try and get a view where you can see all this. So if I run this, it's only going to show 3D room tags for new construction. If I undo that and I change this to existing and I click run, you'll see now it's actually showing 3D room tags for the existing phase. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna give ourselves the ability to search by phase and then place those rooms. So let's talk a little bit about how that's happening. So the way that happens is actually a two node combination that um, last week, if you remember, I talked about get parameter value and set parameter value as being uh, the foundational nodes for most, if not all Dynamo scripts. Well, the list that, list filter boolean mask with the equal equal operand these two nodes together and i'm going to explain how to use them in a second but these two nodes together um, are extremely powerful because what they let you do is filter large lists and get what you need out of them so what i want to do is before we actually jump into just breaking down these nodes here i'm going to do a little demonstration on how that uh, list dot um, list dot filter by boolean mask works okay so how does it work? So there's there's two pieces. The first is an operand. It's you just type equal equal, and what it is is it's saying is x equal to y. So you put two um, values in, whether it's lists or values, and it's going to return a result that says true or false as a if x equals to y. And then we're going to use what's called list dot filter by boolean mask. So list dot filter by bool mask. And so what this does is it's actually going to take a list and it's going to return result from that list uh, based on a mask, which is our true or false. And so I'm going to run through a quick example that makes it a little bit easier to understand. So if we created a list here, so I'm just going to type 1.10. Okay, so for those of you that don't know the dot dot when you're using design script, what that's going to do is it's going to give you a list. I'll just run it real quick. It's going to give you a list of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So we just 
we just created a list of 1 through 10. And we're going to plug that into x. And then y is going to be what we're searching for. So I'm going to just type in a code block, and I'm going to say I want to look for 4. And I'm going to plug that into y. And now if I add a watch node to the end here, what you're going to see, if I run this, what you see is a list. It actually says false, 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 true, false, 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 false. Why is that? Because we have a, a list of 1 through 10, right? And number 3 on our list is actually the number 4. So 0, 1, 2, 3, and then it's, it's 4. All that this equal equal, this operand is doing, it's going to look through a list of items. So I'm using 1 through 10 here, but let's just say these are room numbers. 101, 102, 103, 104, 105. Um, we're going to look for true values, and we're going to return a list here. So um, once we create this list of false, 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 true, true, false, 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 what we can do now is we can use this output to filter our original list of 1 through 10. Right? So remember, this is our list. You know what? Let me put a watch node so that it's just it's a little easier to follow. Sometimes it's nice to come off the watch nodes um, when you're teaching because then when I run things, uh, you can see what's happening. So we're running this list of 1 through 10 through our, our, um, our operand. Then we're coming out with true and falses. We're using that as a mask, and then we're using our original list as the input to the Boolean mask. So what does that mean? That means that the in coming out of this Boolean mask are going to be your results that are true and the out are going to be the false, right? So if I add a watch node here, and another watch node, I probably should have put these in before, because now I have to run it again. You'll see, now we have two lists. One of them is going to be the result if true, which is going to be um, our number four. And the other one is the results if false. So that's 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So all we're doing is using this operand to create a mask that splits our list into the true and false values that we want. Okay, so let's bring this back to rooms now. Before we get into the full script, let's just go quickly through and try and get our um, just a list of our rooms based on our phasing. So I'm just going to delete these. Let me delete a few of these because we can we can leave these two nodes. Why not, right? So this is basically how they work. They're always going to be working together like this. Okay. So now let's do what we did before. We did um, we did a selection by category, right? In our last week. So we have to do category all elements of category. There we go. So our category is going to be rooms. And this is exactly what I did last week. So that's why I'm going through it pretty quickly um, for a more detailed explanation. Check out last week's. OK. Now what we need to get out of this, OK, right? Because this is going to give us all our rooms. What we need to get is we need to get our phases. So get parameter value by name. So. What's our parameter name going to be? Well, here's what's interesting with rooms. If I go into my level, what you'll notice is if I select this, the phase is actually not called phase created. It's just called phase. So that's a unique thing about rooms is that it's not phase created. It's actually just phase. So I'm going to double click. I'm going to make a string called phase, just like we did last week. And now, before I take this Boolean, let's run this through real quick. And you'll see our results. We have face, 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 face. So there's a little bit of a problem. And I know this because I've done this a few times with the script. You'll notice that these don't say new construction or existing. So phase, when it comes to rooms, are actually being represented as an element. Notice how there's an element ID. So if we were to plug this into our equal equal, it actually will not work because it's actually just returning the, the word phase or an element ID. And the reality is we want a, a name for this input. So what we need to do is we need to convert this phase to a name. So 
Luckily, Dynamo gives us a nice way to do that. It's called element.name. So element.name will take any elements you bring in there and it's gonna extract its um, name. So if I plug this in and run it, you'll see now we have a list existing, 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 new, 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 okay? Perfect. So what do we wanna do with this list now? Now that we have a list of names, right? Now that's something that we can search for, okay? So our X is gonna be our, our, our list of names, right? And our Y is actually gonna be the phase that we're looking for. Let me hide this now. Well, that's kind of nice having that open. Let's keep it open. Doesn't wanna come back, there we go. Okay, so if I wanna look for existing, if I plug that into Y and I click run, guess what we're gonna get now? Oops, I guess it didn't wanna run there. Let me unplug this. I'm still getting the old result. Let me place a new one. That's a weird, uh, a weird error there. List.filter by boolean mask. I'm going to plug in a mask here. So now, <clears throat> our export, or our, sorry, whatever's coming out of here, if I run this, we should get true, 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 false, 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 right? Because look at existing is true, 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 true. We have five trues and then three falses. And that's exactly what we're getting right here. Okay, so that's gonna be our mask, right? And now this is what's interesting. Our, what, what, what do we wanna filter out here? We actually wanna filter out our rooms, right? So because all these lists line up, we never modify, we never tweak the list. We can take our original elements, which is our original rooms, and plug that into this filter by Boolean mask. And now we developed down here in this green area, we developed a filter that's gonna tell us how to filter out just the rooms we want, right? So if I click, let me add a watch node. So if I add a watch node and another watch node, and we look at the ins and outs and we click run, you'll notice we actually have now room elements. And down here, these are gonna be our new, right? Because these are our false re results. And these are gonna be our true results. Okay. So hopefully that makes some sense. What do we do? We selected all of our rooms. We got, right here, we got the phase. We had to convert it to a string using element name. And then we just search using the equal equal operand. Okay. Then we just take that new uh, mask that we created, which is right here, the true, 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 false, false, false. We plug it into this node, which is list.filter by Boolean mask, and then we can come out with our, our trues and our falses. Now we have a list of only the rooms that are in um, existing uh, phase. So then all we have to do is plug these back into our original um, setup. So let's do that now. So now if we're looking at our original setup, let me pull this back here, right here is exactly what we just created. You'll notice we have phase, we have element name, and we have existing, and then here's our filter. And now all this here, all of this stuff right here is from the original script. So we're coming out of the in, which is true, and now we're plugging that into our room.location, we're plugging that into our get parameter values, and we're plugging that into our final. So that's it. All we're doing is adding this set of nodes, which I, I just went through, in between um, <clears throat> our elements, our, all, all of our room elements. So if you remember from, from last week, I went straight out of elements and I plugged into all these. Now we're taking it and we're just slicing that list down using list.filter.booleanmask. And now we have a list of only new and existing. So there you have it. That's how you filter out room by phasing. And you can take this list that filter by Boolean mask and you can use it for lots of things. Um, so if you like this video, please make sure you subscribe below and give me a thumbs up. Um, if you want to learn more about Dynamo and get deeper into filtering and different examples, definitely check out my course, uh, DIY Dynamo, which is set up for beginners. 
um, to really dig into Dynamo. And don't forget to uh, go download the uh, free cheat sheet. And I'll talk to everyone later.